Hello and welcome to the channel. Today we're answering a few questions about the new oxygen system built into the game. Uh, what we have here is several compartments containing both standard and a few popular modded blocks to get an idea of how the oxygen system interacts with each different situation. So, what we have here is the base compartment. Uh, what we've tested mostly on this was not just lining up blocks to make an actual room, of course, but using the glass, and particularly using glass that is inverted. So you'll see some pieces are technically on the layer above. Now this does provide a full seal. So pretty much all of your glass, as long as you have a flush seal, will contain the oxygen. So you don't have to worry about any um, canopy or cupola designs that will not properly contain it. Now, next what we have up here is we've been testing various situations where the block does not fully cover even though it takes up the square. So you can see here it does not have an oxygen seal. So we remove those items. Now we have a modded thruster here that would take up both squares entirely. So we'll place that. We'll go around to the door. As you can see the thruster here provides a complete seal and the room is oxygenated. So we'll remove that now. Place a vent. Another one. Now the actual frame does have a complete seal, as every block should, but because it's an event and not a, uh, well, yeah, because it's an armored vent basically and not a solid structure, the oxygen seal is broken and therefore it just leaks out. Now with the regular thruster, again, you have no seal here, so it does leak out. They do, they did seem to rather go through and look at each model design, and if it had a flush seal it appears to, well, seal it up, and you don't have any problem with it. Okay. On to the next one. Now, we had some questions about mod doors. So we have the, well, probably the most popular door mod here, the big gates. Go ahead and start closing that. As you can see, it is sealed. You saw there was a bit of uh, repressurization there. So if you go ahead and open it, you'll see the uh, decompression effects there. Pretty much instantly destabilizes the room. You close it again. And it's instantly stabilized even though the doors are far from closed. So it seems it's more so a matter of the door state being that of closed rather than actually physically closing all the way. Right. On to the next one. Probably should turn my jetpack on before deleting it. Alright, that's so what we wanted to test in our stock room here. Is damage levels. So as you see, the room is pressurizing. And to get an idea of the damage, we're actually going to use the handgun here. Or SMG, I guess you can call it assault rifle. As you can see, the block is distorting. So there's no visible breaches as yet. So it's maintaining pressure. breach. Small enough for us to fall through. And get ourselves stuck, apparently. Clipping through. Now, as you saw before we dropped down into the hole, it was uh, emitting oxygen through the vent again, which would indicate that there is some pressure loss, but not so much that the vent can't counteract. So it does seem that the amount of open space basically venting into 
space determines how much or how quick rather it bends all together. Once the block is removed, of course, the entire room will lose pressure. And that does lead us to believe that if you have multiple vents, you could probably maintain pressure with multiple breaches of the same size. So while, say, four or five breaches of this size would negate the ability of this particular vent to counteract that, if we had multiple, maybe three or four more vents, it would, of course, counteract that and keep the room pressurized. Go ahead and heal that up. Oh, probably just easier to replace it all together. Now you saw there that this is actually only two layers deep here. So we had distortion all the way down. Another point of interest is incomplete blocks will also depressurize. Even though it visibly covers most of it, with the exception of this slit here. So I believe the game counts that as an entire block being open to space. Make a better idea of the gun damage here. Hopefully we'll get a small breach. Get to see it at a single block level. As you can see, pretty much all you have to do is damage one full block worth into the room, and it will depressurize it. So let's go ahead and test our concept of multiple events making up for that. It does appear that four vents would definitely not be enough to make up for one block. Alright, so that should answer most of your questions. There were a few others that were already tested by other users on the forum. Uh, for example, blast doors do not count as sealing the room. So unfortunately at this time, that is not going to give you a solid connection. That means, of course, that your hangers are more than likely going to be areas that basically you're going to have to use a suit to get through. Which is relatively fine, but uh, hopefully they'll get that fixed or add a receiver in for the blast doors that will give us a harmonic seal. And I hope that answers most of your questions there. If you have any more, just let us know, and we'll do some testing, see what we can find out for you. And as always, thanks for watching, and have a good day.